Hey guys, welcome to episode 34 of Ask EJ. That's me. All right, let's get it on. Roger from Columbus, Mississippi asks, I am just now getting serious about home defense. What's your suggestions on getting started? I just want to know I'm doing the right thing. It's just me and my wife in the house. Mm. I would say get our tactical home defense product in the Sheepdog Society. For $9.99 a month, you can view all however many hours. You know, there's got to be around like five or six hours of home defense stuff in there where we go from the outside of the house, inside of the house, uh, bedrooms, stairwells, uh, open areas, confrontations, that kind of stuff, to give you an idea how to deal with that uh, home defense situations a lot better because there's just a myriad of things that go on in a true home defense situation that cannot be just like answered in one, one question. So I would tell you go to sheepdogsociety.org and, uh, and, and view the tactical home defense course uh, all video course so that's what I would tell you that would work out a lot better for you than me trying to explain a bunch of stuff in a YouTube video cool. uh, Roger from Louisville Kentucky is there any way to induce or simulate an adrenaline dump so you can practice during the effects hmm yeah, I mean, you could get kind of close, I guess, uh, with doing, um, you know, physical stress. So, like, push-ups, sit-ups, that kind of stuff. What you do with, with physical stress is you invoke, um, you know, fatigue, and then that causes even a simple drill to become moderately difficult to difficult, and, uh, and that will help you. But where we see the true adrenaline dump is uh, the loss of fine motor sensory functions, right? And we move into to gross motor uh, skills, and that is, you know, this turns into caveman hands, tunnel vision starts to happen, that kind of stuff. So it's, I mean, it's possible to get pretty, pretty close by stressing yourself out physically. And by, I don't mean by like, you know, five push-ups. And like, get down there and, and and do 25 really fast. Stand up and drop down and do 25 more really fast. And then do your drill. And then keep it going, you know, that kind of stuff. That would, that gets you kind of close. Um, course you're gonna look weird on an indoor range <laughs> dropping down to a whole bunch of push-ups uh, yeah it'd be kind of difficult but nonetheless that's kind of where you're at man physical stress is what is commonly used to simulate you know that that adrenaline you know or you can do force on force training that'll get you right there to the door So force on force be, is is great for getting you to that uh, to that state of you know physical exertion and uh, mental and emotional overload. So you can see how you're really performing. So uh, do what you can, and uh, up until you can attend a force on force class, and then enjoy the ride force on force <laughs> that's a good question cool number three comes from clay out of ocean springs mississippi i just bought a glock 22 for concealed carry i'm 5'9 175 i feel fine carrying the glock 22 and shoot it well but people keep telling me it's too big for concealed carry what are your thoughts I tell uh, who gives a crap what other people think. Carry on. Yeah. Okay. That's about it, man. Who cares? 
who cares what other people think about your carry pistol? I don't like your hairstyle today. Who cares? Cool. I mean, that's about, I mean, what else do you want me to say? I mean, I don't give a crap what people think about my carry gun. It's my gun. If I'm comfortable in carrying it and can shoot it accurately, and I'm willing to defend my life with it, or the you know lives of, of my family, then why would I care what other people think about it? I don't. That makes sense. I don't care. Is that three? Yeah. Oh, well, good. Yeah, I man, don't sweat it. I wouldn't care. I don't care. I mean, there are people out there that say, why do you carry your gun? That's stupid. You should carry this. So, yeah. I mean, the, the criteria is, uh, can you shoot it accurately? Number one. Will you feel comfortable, like 100% comfortable, defending your life with that gun? Okay. Can you, will you carry it? Not can you, will you carry it? Three. Everything else doesn't matter. Round count, you know, single stack versus double stack, whatever. You know, we just kind of move from good to great, you know, in the ideal situation, which is different for everyone. But the gun on your hip is a lot more effective than the gun in your safe. I mean, just like that story I told about that that lady who got that high point nine. Everybody started digging on her because it was a high point. So, but she's got one on. She's carrying it. So that's all that matters. All right. Well, appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, we got uh, Sheepdog Society. Remember, you can go out there and check that out. Uh, we still got that little trial going on. Yeah. Okay, cool. So you go out there, sheepdogsociety.org, check it out. And then, um, you know, don't forget to check us out again on that Instagram, Facebook, and all the other stuff. Got a lot of stuff popping off uh, and coming down the coming down the line pretty pretty soon. Got a bunch of new courses we're adding into Sheepdog Society, so I hate for you to miss out on that. And uh, and appreciate you guys uh, watching this video and share it if you feel so led. Subscribe. Love to have you guys as our as uh, subscribers to the channel. So that'd be cool. All right, Sheepdog Society. We'll see you on the inside. And uh, for you YouTubers, stay alert and practice often. We'll catch you next time.